Let's do a roll call. Mr. Henderson? Here. Mr. Petroselli? Here. Mr. Gallarducci? Here. Mr. Colosimo? Here. Mr. Verducci? Here. Mrs. Schneider? Here. Mr. Shashalski? Here. Mayor Copeland? Here. Solicitor McDermott? I, I haven't seen him sign in yet. Engineer Brett? Here. Chief King? Here. Chief Costain? Here. And Director Miller? Here. And, and Tom just signed in, so we're all accounted for. All right, I'll open it up to the floor to the uh, to the public. Do we have anybody that is on that uh, wants to speak or address council? I'll ask one more time. Do we have anybody that wants to address council? Okay, with that, we'll move on to the uh, order of business. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to approve the December 14th, 2020 regular meeting minutes as submitted. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to approve the January 2021 bill list. I approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to approve the January 15th, 22nd, 29th, and February 5th, 2021 payrolls. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes. I need a motion to authorize disbursement of $3,323.88 to Young Blood Paving Incorporated for partial payment number two and final and authorize the execution of change order number one that resulted in a contract decrease of $28,289.27 for the 2020 roadway improvement program. I so move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to authorize the disbursement of $45,697.50 from the capital project fund to LMNR excavating LLC for partial payment number two for the McLaughlin Run Park flood mitigation project. So, so moved. Have Bruce making a motion? I second. Eno second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to approve the request and grant retirement to Public Works Assistant Foreman Charles Massiel. Effective March 23rd, 2021. I so move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Wish him well and thank him for all of his efforts uh, on our on our works, public works department over the years. You yeah, really thank him for his time. He's been good for us. Thank you. I need a motion to reappoint Mr. Bruce Gallarducci to the Civil Service Commission with a six year term. I so move. I second. Second. So motions and uh, BJ seconded. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstained. <laughs> uh, note, note that Bruce has abstained from voting. Motion passes. I need you. a motion to authorize a sale of the surplus 1996 Chevrolet pickup truck and 2008 Ford Crown Victoria police cruiser via the public auction site www.municipid.com. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to authorize the solicitor to create, a, create an ordinance that would prohibit parking on McMillan Street for the purposes of creating an emergency fire lane in a 50 foot area across from 616 McMillan Street by the Goodwill Villa as requested by the fire chief. There is a map in your packet that shows where this um, area is and uh, the chief is on if anybody has any questions uh, they've had some trouble getting a truck pulled in there with cars parked there so 
Do we have any questions on this? I do have a couple of questions, Bill, living around the corner from there. Um, and Chief King, um, there's already an issue with parking on McMillan um, and issues with the stop signs and um, I should say a lot of cars that end up in the uh, in the intersections uh, when they do park, plus there's a fire hydrant. I understand the purpose of the fire truck and the need for that space, but um, it is going to create some more problems uh, uh, other than what we already have with parking on McMillan. Yeah, McMillan as well as, uh, yeah, uh, the, the street next to John. So would there be any consideration to um, maybe you know, looking at that area, designating more spaces or, you know, the setbacks from the stop signs and the fire hydrant or maybe some yellow curbs or something to help people do maybe a better job, but there, it will limit um, some of the cars, particularly from the Goodwill Villa, because uh, it appears that several people, a lot of people there have vehicles. Yeah, if we could take that up under public okay. safety, BJ, okay. I, I think that would be wise thing to do because I know there's several people that park their cars right in that area and there's no place else on their grounds to park so um, yeah you have to look Dewey Avenue as well because McMillan and Dewey Avenue that is absolutely crowded it's really crowded um, just looking to see if we've looked at other options just to um, to help you know mitigate some of the uh, problems that we'll have with a lack of spacing. Hey, uh, Chief uh, Costain, could you expand more on why this request came in? Yeah, so, um, and Joe Cower can, can attribute to this. He was on the call. We've had two calls there, one of which most recent was a structure fire. Um, with the vehicles being parked right there, we could not make the swing into the, to the building there um, quickly and without going up over the curbs and running the risk of, of hitting a car parked there. Um, Joe and I went over and looked at the area, the one house that it affects there, those folks do have a um, driveway on the side, right, accessible in that alleyway there. So I right. do believe that we're only going to lose one parking spot. Well, the, the house on the corner of Dewey and McMillan, the old Fullerton house, has no parking um, they either park on Dewey, but the, a lot of times they park on the side. And it's not so much the residents parking, it's, it's well, actually, it's the residents from the buildings. From Goodwill. Okay. I, and I'm all for, I understand the need for that. Um, I'm just trying to think, you know, what we can do um, to help with that. Sure. Yeah, I, I think in terms of the ordinance itself, you know, the, the safety of those people that are living in both of those buildings is paramount. And I think we need to prepare um, to enable the fire department to get in there should they need it. Um, so I think in terms of addressing the actual um, motion that's on the table, uh, I'll entertain a motion to um, to approve the, uh, the ordinance for uh, no parking in that particular area. Just a question. I mean, it, it, was this brought up to public safety already? No. No. I, I, mean, I apologize. It, I didn't. I didn't know that was the right avenue. <laughs> well, and I don't know either. No. I, is it? Does it make sense to 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 table it and let public safety maybe uh, take BJ's comments in, into consideration and then? Then, um, if there isn't an alternative, then then public safety says we have to put it there. Then, then go from there. Well, is it I, worth doing that? I I can appreciate that that thought, but what happens between now and the next meeting if we need it? Um, Valid. Well, I don't know. You can put a. Uh, I I don't know. You can put it temporarily, not parking to further notice uh, at that spot. I mean, they, they were eliminating, they would buy some time for the investigation from uh, 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 public safety. That's about the only thing you could do, really. Otherwise, it's going to be. And a conversation with the folks in the villas and the Goodwill, um, that's generally who uses that area. 
like I said, I agree with the safety issue, Bill. I understand what you're saying. Those buildings have been there a long time and this parking issue has just come up now after how many years? So I think that's a great, that's a great there idea. There's not many fires though either. I, I didn't hear Joe Klossman's comment. I just said that uh, there haven't been all that many fires down there either until recently, so. I agree with Joe. We we did just have a fire and a lady burned on the fifth floor. That was the most recent call that we've had there. So BJ, from because you know the area better, so those three parking spaces that the chief is asking for, would those three cars then just have to pa park a block away? Is that where would the alternative play? It'd just be farther place or uh, parking, so they'd have to walk further. It would be, and and I like, like you said, I think Nina's idea of doing a temporary block it now in case there is a fire, but, you know, go through public safety and at least notify the residents in the buildings and in the area that, you know, they're going to have to find alternative um, places to park. I think that's, a, you know, it's just my opinion. Joe, do we, Joe Cower, would we need uh, to pass an ordinance to do a temporary no parking there? while uh, public safety addresses it? I wouldn't think so. I, I would, you could just put a sign up and My it's order. not gonna be really enforceable without an ordinance. Yeah. I mean, it, uh, this is for the safety of those actually that are parking there. I mean, let's remember that. So um, why don't we do that? Why don't we um, place some no uh, temporary no parking signs there, put this into public safety and um, Public safety can come back with some recommendations uh, next month. Mike, whether I have a question, Bill. I'm trying to picture that. I know the area in my head, but do we have any telephone poles there or anything to attach signs to? Or is that one of the sections That's... without anything between the curb? You know what I mean? The, the, yeah, utility, the utility pole is on the side of Goodwill Villas. That's our other hindrance. So uh, nothing on the side where we're we're attempting to put a fire lane it's just lawn mm -hmm. okay and there's a yellow or white paint marking the limits right now in the grass well the, we're we're just asking to advertise the ordinance correct we're not creating the ordinance and and we have to have a public hearing next month correct yeah, the, the motion was to authorize a solicitor to uh, draw up an ordinance. Yeah, to create an ordinance. Oh, I'm sorry. I I thought this was to approve it. My apologies. Yeah. And we can put the temporary up in, in the next month or so and see how much pushback. Everybody will come and tell us what they feel about it. But, well, but if, if, if it's an emergency, you, yeah. you, you, should put, you should put that sign up tomorrow for sale. Yeah, I agree because no, another month. Yeah, it, I agree it, because it, it, that truck it. will never get in there. Exactly. Put up a sign if we all agree to put a temporary sign uh, with the legal permission, which I believe they will be fine. Let's go ahead and do it. ASAP. And move forward. Do you want to move forward with uh, um, authorizing the solicitor? Oh, that's fine. If even for the temporarily signed or, or for the permanent, one way or the other, as I recall that Joe Carter say it should be uh, northern and even if it's temporarily. Am I right, Joe? No, I, I wouldn't do oh, that. I okay, think then. all we're asking tonight is I'll authorize the solicitor to create it. That takes a month. And then if we come back next month, it'd be advertising. That takes another month. Yep. So, so we're two, three months out. So uh, it, it takes time. time. Let's go ahead and authorize the, uh, uh, the the lawyer right now. And then it, we could put up a temporary sign this week through the Public Works Department. Okay, and good. that could at least get people's uh, awareness to it. I'll I can, second. I can move that. Yes, yeah, I can move that. Yeah. I'll second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. The motion passes. All right. I need a motion to authorize the purchase of a 2021 Dodge Charger police cruiser with emergency equipment upfitting from Team Force Incorporated at State Coastars.
pricing at a cost not to exceed $49,288. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Just a comment there. I Interesting, Chief. You know, people wonder why cars cost so much. And I looked at, you know, the, the cameras that you have to upfit with and <laughs> the light bars and everything that you have to upfit. It's, um, it's incredible. But um, Yeah, so nothing well. cheap anymore, that's for sure. And obviously, the, the Dodge Charger was the, the most reasonably priced vehicle we could find because the price on the Explorers went up $5,000 just on face value. Okay, uh, need a motion to accept and pay any commission due December 2020 real estate tax collector report. I'll move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Need a motion to accept the December 2020 police report. So moved. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Okay, committee reports, administration. Virginia Schneider. Um, thanks, Bill. Um, there's been some issues with the phone system lately. Uh, it's been in and out of service while it wa it's waiting for the uh, the new updated installation, um, which should be done, I think, this week, right, Joe? So if any residents have had issues, I did one day. So um, it's because the system has been temporarily um, out of order um, on occasion. Um, so the next thing is that the borough office renovations have been completed except for some of the back hallways and bathrooms, but the Department of Public Works continues to uh, beautify the borough building. So that's exciting along with the community message sign at the borough building. Uh, the foundation is underway. They started laying the block work for that. So things are looking good. And then the uh, quarterly update for January, February, and March will be out in the trash bills this month. Um, and in anticipation of our new 2021 annual newsletter that uh, Joe has informed me that the articles and the photos have all been sent to the publisher and that we should have a draft by next week to review. Um, so hopefully we'll have that by the end of the month or get it out to the residents um, in February. Uh, and that's about all I have, Bill. Thank you. Uh, finance, Joe Verduce. Uh 2020 uh, budget to actual for the general fund. Uh, revenue ended at uh, 3,483,000 and some change. Uh, expenditures were 3,037,000 and some change. So we had a nice surplus there. Uh, the, the fund balance uh, was mainly for, uh, created from our uh, loan for the, uh, the different capital projects that we have in the very, very near future over the 2021 year. So we're excited by that. Uh, the sewer fund, uh, we also had a, a, a small surplus uh, there as well, um, the, uh, as well as uh, the garbage fund. Uh, 2021 budget is in effect and uh, we're ready to, to start booking that. Uh, uh, the administration staff are uh, upgrading the Freedom software, which is the uh, financial software uh, coming in February. Uh, Joe has uh, finalized the renewal of the insurance policies on the properties and the general liability and we were able to increase the values of the properties but stay within budget. So that's a really good thing too. Uh, the audit will be completed this uh, spring, uh, so we'll report back to council once that's done. And uh, I do personally want to congratulate uh, all of the borough employees um, in all the different capacities, uh, working very di di diligently on watching the expenses in 2021, especially uh, during the uncertainties where uh, what how the pandemic was going to affect the things in our budget uh, for our community. So job well done, uh, everybody uh, uh, within the, the borough uh, from uh, everybody that had to figure out ways to save a little bit of money as well as managing that money. So so thank you very much. Thanks, Joe. Uh, parks and Recreation, Joe Colosimo. Uh, there's not much really going on in the parks. Construction works on hold till spring. 
and the weather improves, I hope. Uh, my fellow committee people, I'm hoping to have like a meeting next, next month, six weeks. Got anything you want to discuss or for next year, uh, think about it and let you know when the meeting's going to start up. That's all I have. Thanks, Joe. Uh, public Works, Nino. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. As far as public works, you, every one of you got the, um, the report here, which I'm looking at as well, uh, which is interesting to me that uh, we should uh, thank public work for the beautiful job, a good job they did. They usually for removal of the snow and keep the sidewalk clean. Um, that was absolutely a fantastic job. Uh, for the 30 some year I'm in public work, I always heard no matter where I'm going, Carnegie, even Pittsburgh, or uh, say Bridgeville is the most clean uh, road in the wintertime in the area. And we should be glad of that. Uh, there been a couple maintenance and so forth, but nothing uh, exciting. Uh, and the, uh, I was surprised to see that uh, that Robinson Pipe, uh, if they call it the, uh, um, uh, what was it, the Bank Street and Craig. I believe we have a problem uh, less a time before on that. And, and that uh, say that it was not our problem. Well, I'm sure that somebody is going to do something about it, the, the, the people themselves. Uh, we ordered 300 ton of salt. I believe it's uh, already received. So let's hope we don't need it all, but we got two more months. Other than that, thank you to the public work for the good job. And that's all I have. I second right. that. Yeah, thank I you. agree, Nino. I got a lot of good feedback on the uh, snow removal. So kudos to those guys. Um, public safety, Bruce Calarducci. Oh, by the way, Mr. Chairman, uh, just for the record, on the 19th, we, we um, have a four candidates. For, we interview four candidates, uh, actually, in 15, 20 minutes each. Uh, at the border building, we, we're going to uh, respect to the COVID regulation, obvious especially me, but we all do. We have three residents and one from Oakdale. Oakdale, I can see they're pretty much a, re a resident. That's not that far. Uh, on the paper, they all look good. Every single one. I think this is gonna be a good, good task for us to pick up the right person. If uh, council wanna know anything else about it, Call Joe and you can tell you more about it. But I like to bring to, I like to uh, hire this person at the next meeting, of God willing. And that's hey, thank, Yeah, thank you, Nino. Sure. Uh, back to you, Bruce, public yes. safety. I think we'll get together, public safety committee will get together with Joe and both chiefs and uh, try to work out something in that area and move forward from there. On, on the McMillan Street parking. So that's all I have. All right, thanks, Bruce. Uh, Mayor Betty Copeland. Thank you. I was privileged to uh, swear in our Bridgeville Volunteer Fire Department on January 7th. Also, we need to note that the Hennigmans are retiring from Sammy's greenhouse after 25 years and we certainly owe them gratitude for all their contributions to our various events through the years. New owners will be Chris and Tracy Calusi, so we wish them well in this new endeavor for them. Thank you. Uh, Mayor Copeland, also uh, rumor has it that uh, somebody purchased the PNC building uh, in the middle of town and there'll be a new business going in the uh, in the first floor where the bank was as well and the probably within the next six months so i'm excited to see some some development or new new uh businesses are are coming in wonderful 
Well, Thank yeah, good, you. good news. Uh, Police Chief Chad King. Thank you, Council President. Uh, first off, I want to say, Nino, I'm glad to see you're back on your A game. Thank you, guys. All right. Uh, I don't have much to report. Um, Buddy the Elf uh, thing we did went down pretty well. We had enough toy donations that every child in Bridgeville got a toy that day, and that's that's what mattered at the end of the day for all the kids. That was about the kids, and I'm glad we were able to do that. Uh, we had some generous donations from Toys for Pittsburgh Area Tykes, Global Glorious Productions, and a lot of residents came through uh, wanting to help out and donated toys and stuffed animals to the cause. So uh, uh, with the help of the fire department, uh, we teamed up with them and, and got it done that day. So that was a good time, and I think the kids in town needed that. Thanks, Chief, and, and I will uh, Excuse echo. Me. Hey, Chad. Yes. Can I ask you a quick question? I brought this up before the meeting started. Uh, we're getting rid of the two black and whites, right? Yeah. Yes, correct. Okay. Normally, like when I'm out in the bot, we have these flagging details. Yes. And I see our guys out there doing it. We use one of the black and whites for us to set up the roadblock for us. We going to have enough vehicles to carry that out in the future? Or? Well, we don't, you know, we, we hung on to the black and whites uh, for the hopes of having a lot of traffic details when the Chartier Street Bridge was supposed to be replaced, but then that got delayed. I believe that's delayed until 2022 now. So uh, the one black and white, the older one that's really beat up, that's the one we'll sell on Municipal bid. Uh, the, the, the black and white that's not as in bad a condition, I have arrangements to sell that to Oakdale Borough. Um, but we're going to try to hold off till mid February, early March, because I don't think the, the car that we're getting will roll off the assembly line until March. Um, you know, it's, it's nice having the excess vehicles for that purpose, but we don't have any big projects on the horizon where we would be using them, you know, because it doesn't look like anything's going to happen until, like I said, 2022 with that bridge project. Okay. As long as you're happy. Thank you. Yeah, and, and, and again, I'll uh, echo uh, Chief, the, um, the Buddy the Elf and the, and the Santa Claus trip around town was, I don't care how old you are, I always look forward to, to that day. And you come out, at least on Chestnut Street, there's as many adults standing out there as there are kids. So that was a great day. Uh, President uh, Henderson. Yes. Would, wouldn't Chad, Chief, Chief King like to tell the donation that they made to Southwest Meals, Meals on Wheels with their beard challenge. Sure, thank you, Mayor. Um, we uh, were doing the, the No Shave November and December. We were able to uh, raise $500 for a donation to the South Hills Area Meals on Wheels. So I thank all the guys that participated. I know Joe Verducci participated too mayor even participated so you know it worked out well that's fantastic good stuff man all right solicitor tom mcdermott uh thank you um in addition to my written report um we did have the opportunity uh joe power and i to meet and go through your the final draft of the uh, uh personnel manual which i must say from beginning to end up through the committee was quite well written uh, finalizing a proof, proofing a couple tweaks to run by Joe and get back to the committee this week. So you should be in place to review that and uh, take it up next month. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate that. You're welcome. Um, borough en engineer, Kevin Brett. Uh, yes, we did submit our report dated January 6th. I'll uh, give you a few updates on the various projects. As was on the agenda, the 2020 road program has been closed out and we will be looking to schedule a meeting for the 2021 road program and to get that scheduled. If, if we are gonna do a program, we'd like to open bids in early March uh, to get the best pricing. Um, I was talking with Joe today. We may wanna include some of the work at the park. Um, we've asked uh, the contractor that's currently doing the work at the park for some change order pricing, which they provided uh, some of those today in comparison to the pricing that you received for the parking lot. 
it's about at the borough building, it's about two and a half times the unit prices that you receive with your road paving bid last year. Um, so we're going to talk to DCNR and see if they would consider um, changing that contract and closing out the paving items and letting you bid that with your road pro program to get better pricing. Um, because some of the items that need to be completed um, is new work and the price they quoted on the change order is about three and a half times what you received from Youngblood with the road paving contract. And uh, we couldn't recommend you spend three times the money on um, uh, the trail paving, things like that. So, and we've experienced that in other places. You get a lot better pricing with the paving contracts than you do with um, a lot of the other ones when it comes to paving. So um, once we talk to uh, the funding agency, we'll be back um, to get authorization. Uh, for that bid in uh, at your February meeting, uh, we'll be seeking auth authorization to advertise the bid to road program. So, of course, this would be no uh, liquid fuel donation towards that. Correct. No liquid fuels towards that. Um, that would come out of your other proceeds, but sure. it could be bid with the same contract. So, sure. um, other contracts. Um, that's been uh, either worked on or going to be worked on. Uh, MS4s, we are working on your PRP uh, designs to put out the bid in the spring. Um, they're swir swirl concentrators and you have a grant for some of those. Um, Jane Way, uh, that contractor should be starting work over the next um, uh, month uh, once they get their material in. The flood con control project, McLaughlin Run, it is complete, including the trash rack they'll come back in the spring touch up and seed um very pleased with that work and how that came together i do want to note in the spring since the trash rack is now in place we have to make sure if we do get a big event that public works is prepared to go up and clean the trash rack off as part of the maintenance program uh, or if we get a big pile of debris there so um, I'm going to talk to John Howe in our office tomorrow, and he should get with Joe, and we should put a real short uh, maintenance schedule together for public work, something that they do periodically, uh, just to make sure that we keep that trash rack clean. Um, Would that be post-storm as well, Kevin? Yes, and, and that's what we want to have. At least a drive-by or something to that effect, sorry. Yep, and if there's something there, make sure we have the means to get it out. Um, if we do hear that there's a uh, historic storm coming, uh, we want to have the capabilities of having public works on alert that if we get flooded up there that uh, they can go in and remove the debris. So uh, next is the um, Bower Hill Road project. That contractor should be uh, starting as well as the backflow preventer contracts. Um, the sanitary manhole that we replaced the lid in the stream, that work's been completed. Um, and we are submitting some permits for your next round of projects that were authorized last month. Um, the last big item is Grow Grant. Uh, we are working with Joe and uh, Elkisan uh, to get uh, something submitted for this next round um, so that you hopefully can get some funding uh, that you have not got in the past. And then the roof uh, replacement uh, we are preparing specs on that. So it's going to be a busy spring. Um, lots of bids. We're going to try to do a couple bids a month um, to keep things moving uh, for your project list. So any questions? Yes. Uh, Happy New Year, uh, Mr. Engineer. Mm -hmm. How are you? Very good. Happy New Year to you all. Thank you. I noticed uh, one thing uh, at the gate at the park. Yes. park. By the way, um, I'll come back to that gate. Uh, the flood that we had, that were that project worked out well. That was a very, very good. Chief sent me a video. I said, man, that's perfect. That good, it was a good job. As far as the cleaning the the uh, the trash rack, I say that's a long time ago. That is to be a permanent inspection by public court. 
Mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, keep that clean without any question. And thank you to put that on record as well. Now, as far as the gate at the uh, park, I believe can't, can't put it back because I was there right in the back. It is that island. I believe it lived too close to the road. Now, if somebody would back turn around over there, which they have no business to turn around over there, that gate will definitely get damaged. I felt that should have been at least five feet over, but it cannot be moved. Okay. But it, it, there was a just the way engineering done well without any question. I have another question. Uh, the main hole comes from the first uh, way, way behind uh, back there. To me, be in a stream, it seems to be a little bit too low. Um, I meant to call you in the office and discuss this, but for some reason, I feel better today to, to remember all those things. I thought perhaps that the main hole should be a little higher due to the uh, flood, it could blow up the, uh, the lid. Uh, that's, that's about all my concern it is, because I remember when I was at, uh, when I used to go to the cog, they had a weld couple of those lid because it was blown up all the time. I hope uh, that is not going to happen over there. And you know which one I'm talking about, Kevin, right? Yes. Okay. So other than that, you guys did a wonderful job the short time you're with us. I'm very pleased with all the engineer over there. And thank you so much. I appreciate they, uh, that. Thank you, Nino. Yeah. Speaking of gates, drive. Uh, they started doing the McLaughlin uh, Park uh, gate yeah. today or the other day. Looks yeah, really gate, good. The gate's up. Yeah. The gate is up. Yeah. Good. Looks really good. Excellent. Any other questions? Thanks, Kevin. We do. Thank you. I agree. I had the chance to see some of that uh, higher water rushing down during that last rain, and uh, the trash rack was catching some debris that was coming down. So that, that looked good. Excellent. It would be nice if Upper Sinclair would help us clean that as well, but don't count on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Fire Chief Ray Custain. Thank you, Council President. Uh, month of December, the fire department ran 38 calls. Um, our 2020 totals, we finished the year with 341 calls for service. Um, sometime here in the month of January, our new to us uh, QRS vehicle that we purchased off of Dormont Fire, we placed in a service, uh, and that's all I have. All right, thank you. Any questions for the Chief? Okay, Southbridge EMS, Dan Miller. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I did submit a report for the board for their review. Um, if you have looked at that, um, you might have noticed that our response times kind of creeped up a little bit for lights and siren response. Um, they basically went up one to two minutes on average for all the districts we serve. Uh, that was a result of several weather events that moved through. Uh, anytime we have a snow event or ice event, that obviously puts a uh, hindrance on our ability to get to people and then it slows the whole system down because obviously the transport time increases and um, other units in the area are all suffering the same consequence so um, that would be the the uh, explanation for that um, just to step back to the mcmillan street uh, road issue that we were discussing earlier uh, it would be very nice to see something done with that as well for our ambulances. Um, we have had several occasions where the ambulances have had to negotiate a multi-turn exit uh, from that facility. Um, our ambulances, uh, we have a freight liner that is pretty big and our F-550 kind of has a long nose that kind of gets a little complicated to get out of there at times. So um, we can support the fire chief's uh, opinion on that. Um, we want to also thank the board for their continued support in 2021 and uh, for also including us in some of the vaccinations to get 
couple stragglers of ours that needed shots and get those done Sunday. So uh, we appreciate that. Um, so that's all I've got. Thanks, Dan. Stay safe out there, man. Um, anyone from the Historical Society or does anyone have a report from Mary? She wants everyone to know that some of the artwork that Marge Orlandini donated to the Historical Society will be on display at La Bella Bean and Bridgeville Appliance. And they're also trying to make plans to celebrate a 10th anniversary in March for the Historical Society being at the location with the caboose. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Mayor. Give uh, give Mary our best, please. Um, Bridgeville Library. Anybody from the library present? No. Uh, let's see. Parking Authority. We um, don't have anybody. We did receive a report today that I think Joe sent out. Uh, is that the only thing we've had got from them, Joe? Yes, sir. Uh, Bridgeville Planning Commission representative. I see Mike on. Mike, you have anything for us? I don't have any report now. Hey, Borough Manager Joe Cower. Uh, just a couple quick things. Uh, you have my written report. If there's any questions, I'd be happy to answer that. And the conversation we had about the trash rack tonight, uh, the Public Works is already monitoring it uh, after the last storm where it was effective. They have cl uh, cleaned it out already. Uh, we have an issue now where the field's all pretty much mud. So it's having trouble getting equipment down to it till the grass is in. So just we need to keep that in mind right now. How are we going to keep that mud uh, to dry out? <laughs> That's just, mm -hmm. it's another story. Right now, they, they did it, but it, it really wasn't efficient. Uh, I think once it's grown in, it's going to work. But right now, it was rather hard for them. I think it's just the conditions of a construction site right now. Okay, probably. It, it's a given, sir. Cheap. It's a given. I'm dead. It's gonna be, there's going to be grass over there, obvious. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. something from the thing about it. Okay, is that all, Joe? Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, anything under old business? How about under new business? No business. All right. I make a motion okay. to adjourn. Yeah, I'll take a motion to adjourn. That sounds like Bruce has made that motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. Take money. You all in favor? Aye. 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 Pardon me? Do we have a comment or no? no. Okay. Opposed? Anybody opposed? Motion passes. Meeting adjourned. Thank you all. Appreciate your help.